hello guys uh, welcome to the next tutorial uh, so previous tutorial what we did was uh, we set up the vpn server in the uh, vpn uh, this uh, in this vm so what now we gonna do is we gonna install vpn client on the master node and connect it with the uh, vpn server so i'm gonna run this one open up okay uh, we should have IP address now yeah. I think uh, before we're gonna do that, I need to do some changes in here. I'm going to disable this one for now because my machine is trying to connect with the public key authentication but I didn't have set up that one for this machine okay now we should be able to connect Password. Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm gonna follow uh, this uh, tutorial, so I will put the link in the description as well. So first, we need to do is we need to uh, let's gain root permission for root privileges and update. And after that, we need to download the uh, Softether client for Linux. So what I'm going to do is Softether and go to downloads. And the client, we need to select uh, Linux and whatever the architecture that uh, suits you after that I'm gonna just uh, create a directory let me look at my notes so we need to create uh, soft either and this is soft either and then download the Client Okay, after that oh, I can't remember the command. Uh bear with me. Yes. Okay. Now to have it install. Build 
the same service so while it doing that i'm gonna just quickly look at my uh, network configuration settings uh, see you after it's been installed okay so while it happening in the background uh, we let's create a, a user for user in the vpn server so what we gonna do is mm, we need to connect to the vpn so i think the ip is valid still yeah so manage users to call call master and the password is master as well exit from Okay, it will uh, seems to be taking a little bit time. Okay, <coughs> let's go to the VM plant and type make one one one. All right. Um, let me move that one. Okay, and now. What we need to do is VPN client start and then VPN CLD check. Okay. Now exit VPN CLD. Uh, management first name or IP address just uh, press enter and then uh, type in I see create VPN okay so for this we will create like <coughs> let's uh, create a network interface called soft uh, after that we need to create uh, account as well account create let's call the soft as well for the account name and the host name of the pin server will be 192 168 197 destination vpn host name and port number uh, sorry uh, why is that ah, okay so i need to specify the port as well so we can just type 555 and then the virtual hub name will be vpn so this is the name and the connecting user will be so name will be master used virtual network adapt name it's soft okay uh, yeah account Password soft it will be master. Uh, standard. Okay. 
Okay. Account connect master. Sorry, I should be soft. Account list. Yeah, it's connected. Exit. Again, client. Client stop. Okay. Uh, after that, just uh, do this one and. After that, okay, after these things, we don't need to follow this guide, so I'm gonna follow my notes. So, after that, we need to create uh, uh, a script uh, that uh, will automatically connect from the boot. Uh, so, for that, we need to create uh, first uh, a service, uh, and then uh, in that service, we need to call a, a bash uh, shell script. So let's create the shell script. I'm gonna just copy paste the commands from my shell script. It will be easier for me. After that. and then so in this script what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to just uh, cd into the the VPN client directory and then uh, I'm going to uh, start the that one and with that uh, I'm going to uh, show the command to uh, connect to the VPN server as well. So, if config, so in this using this command, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, assign a static IP address to the uh, this interface because uh, uh, the master node IP uh, cannot be changed. I think it needs to be static. So according to, according to the our tutorial, the master node IP is uh, 10, 1, 2, 1, 2. Uh, <coughs> yeah, I think you should do it. Then let's make it executable. Okay, let's, let's try this one, whether it's working or not. IF config. Yeah, we have that done. So okay, if you open up this one uh, sessions. may not show up here because it's that IP is not issued from the VPN server uh, yeah I think it's okay for now but uh, if we want to check this one maybe what we can do is uh, let's try to ping the VPN server first whether it's okay or not yeah it's working it's connected so after that, pin client stop. 
so now we're going to create uh, our uh, service that will execute at the boot time so to do that uh, type vi etc uh, system system d and system and let's say vpn client web service and after that Search. Okay. So after that, we need to do is uh, system CDL taking on reload system. CTL enable VPN client service. Okay, service so VPN client start status. Okay, let's try to ping the sun. It's working. Okay, so like this, you need to set up. Uh, the worker node as well so i think uh, following this same tutorial you can do the same thing to the worker node as well so yeah thank you guys uh, see you in the next tutorial